Morning, morning, it's VTR Dave. Welcome back to the channel. And on this crisp and frosty morning, I've returned to the Sandown Toy Fair, located on another race course. I've got nothing on my shopping list. So place your bets. Let's see who we can meet. Let's see what we can find. Let's crack on. Once again, I've gone for the early bird. Now at Sandown, all of the dealers and the punters are let in at the same time. So you have a situation where the dealers are trying their best to set up their tables, while the punters, we're trying our best to interrupt them to get an early bargain. <laughs> anyway, enough of that, let's find some toys. It's great to see many of the toy division sellers here at Sandown. If you watched my last video at Kempton, I said these guys are making a huge difference to that show. And it's great to see many of them here again today. I'll take that from you. Yeah, no worries, man. I'll take it off my website. How would you like your ladies and gentlemen? Six for a fight. Someone will try and guarantee my luck. Someone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, quite. I've heard they're quite uh, delicate, aren't they? Yeah, they can be brutal. Good, I'm glad I put that in there. Ben, in case I forget. Uh, I'll forget to pay you if that's alright. Uh, so this is called Fennec. He's a fox, I believe. Uh, it's a laser beast from the mid-12. Very nice. Um, yeah. I think their release was only... I think the mid-12s were only released Japan. But could be wrong with us, so don't yeah. point me on it. <laughs> now, this is my first purchase of the day. This rather cool food fighter from Rai. Now, I must apologise to Rai. I did film his stall, but unfortunately, I've lost the footage on my phone. Ah, oh, sorry about that. Anyway, this is my first food fight and I've jumped in at the deep end because it's a variant and it's the last one that I was letting go of from his collection. A little bit reluctantly, but rest assured, it's gone to a good home. Now, I always thought these were a 1990s toy, but actually they were first released at the back end of the 80s. It's pretty cool. He's got all his uh, accessories and I love it. And I hadn't realized that these are actually squishy. <laughs> now, at the same time, I also bumped into Kez, who brought along these 18 cards, which I had actually purchased at Kempton, but I didn't have the cash on me, so he held on to them for me. We've got the binoculars, and we also have my favorite, which is the BA Fix-It set. So I love these, and I also think this is <laughs> a fantastic line, and probably the start of a new collection here at the VT Archive. No, 
It looks newer than 79, doesn't it? It's an amazing condition. Wow. Yeah, spit balls, yeah. Yeah, complete mop. Got that online last night for 20 quid. The Freddy Krueger one I have got a lot. The second purchase of the day is this bundle of Remco Crystal figures from Robbo's Toys. Now these were released in the 80s by Remco. They look pretty cool, nice translucent bodies. I don't know the names of these characters, but that will be part of the fun, researching and finding out. And also they're missing accessories, so I'll have to hunt those down. This green guy is pretty cool, nice translucent figure there. But the jewel has got to be this dragon. It is missing the wings. Who knows, I might find the wings at some point in the future. But I do have the dragon rider. So thanks very much Robbo's Toys for the deal. And I'm looking forward to trying to complete this line over the next few years. <laughs> now this is a great stall. It's run by Terry from the Dark Side Alliance Vintage Toys Facebook group. On that group you'll find all sorts of high-end vintage Star Wars at great prices. And on this stall, well, he had all sorts. Real Ghostbusters, Star Wars, of course, even some vintage action force. Yeah, it was great to see Terry here. Of course these toy fairs aren't just about the toys but it's also about meeting your fellow collectors and I just want to quickly say thanks to everyone who came up to me and said hello, said that they watched the videos, it's great to meet you all. I think it's time for the VTR's collector album. Do I get any commission? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> there you go, yeah, it's like a little go-bot type thing, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Ooh, I can see this Dino Rider. So we've got complete the dragon. Ooh, dragon, yep, nice. The wings in there. The one you've already purchased. Yep. Nice. One. And then uh, we Ooh, have. Nice. Battle Star Galactica. We've got yes. the gold Cylon. Nice. With rifle complete. Oh, lovely. Yep. And we've got the best condition chrome one. Oh, lovely. Weapon, but it's yep. snapped with a bayonet. Then we've got some Lucy beta ones. Yep. And this. 
We've got the Obo. Mm, he's, got, he's got the little cloak thing. Got his little well. cloak yeah. thing. Then we've got the um, extreme yeah. mark, extreme lead or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Cloak. And looks, cloaking. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got uh, Porter and Bore. Yeah. I think his name is. Oh, the little mini ones. Yeah. yeah. And Gremlins. Gremlins. Yeah. Quite a stripey. Stripe, yeah. Unpunched. Quite nice. Right. There's a lot of goodies there. Yeah. Let's, okay. let's have a look and a chat. It was great to meet up with Steve, Derby Collector. We actually live pretty close to each other, but we never seem to be able to find the time to meet up. So it was great to see Steve at the show today. And I picked this up. This was a pre-show purchase, a dino rider. I can't remember the name of this dinosaur, but it's pretty sweet, this one. Love it. And I also picked up another dragon for AD&D, the bronze one, along with its wings as well. So I'm very happy with that. So thanks, Steve, for those great deals. Steve is very generous with his prizes, so I managed to pick up Starbuck, Commander Adam, the leader, Ovium with his cloak, and a Centurion, so cool. And then I think from series two we've got Baltar, the commander with the gold, and what's this guy's name? Is it Bore? I think it is. So Steve, Thanks so much for this, uh, and it's always a pleasure to do a deal from the back of your car boot. <laughs> Warning, there is a lot of Star Wars coming up. <laughs> but before we get there, I just wanted to show off some of these graded, advanced Dungeons and Dragons figures. We've got a shield shooter, North Lord, and a Hawkler. You very rarely see those complete, but this one was graded. That looked awesome. And there are also these Tiger Mask figures from Japan. A little bit strange. They're figures disguised as cats and tigers. And those masks? They're removable. <laughs> Only in Japan. Never seen them before. Anyway, on with the Star Wars. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you're definitely getting something nice here anyway. Oh, that's it. That's why you haven't put the notes. You don't really want to sell. Yeah. I can imagine. It's just not. It's just not the room. Oh yes, my uh, my favourite. Look at that. So how many last seventeens are in there? I think there's only a couple. Most of them have been sold. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, indie as well. Look at that. Oh, wow. This what a collection. How long have you been collecting then? 30 years, you know where it is, right. yeah, but I sold, I sold everything off in uh, 2013. 
Right. Pay for a tax bill. <laughs> oh no. Tell you what, there was a lot of mask at the show today. Plenty of vehicles, loose and boxed, but also plenty of other mask items as well. Love that sticker album there, and that was complete. Right, I think we've got time for one more lap of the show. Let's see what else we can spot. There's only so much toy hunting you can do in one go, so I think we'll call it a day. I just want to say thank you to everyone who said hi and to you for watching right now, but I think it's time for lunch with the gang. Stay safe and cheers. Mm -hmm.